Hey, everything is okay? Everything's great. How are you? Great. I'm great. I'm very happy to see you again after two years. Likewise. Back. <laughs> so it's been 784 days between the release of your last album and the new single High. And you guys announced your comeback with a sarcastic video where you were replaced by two different people. Uh, Drew, uh, were you really afraid of being forgotten? I don't think the intention was... Uh, well, I guess the reason for that, that video is we were kind of, we hadn't posted anything on social media in, in two years. And, you know, when you think about what's the first thing you're going to, people are going to see, I don't know, it becomes like kind of like a daunting, intimidating task. And, you know, just kind of based on our brand, there's always been a little bit of humor in it. And so the internet kind of created this joke that any two white guys could be the chain smokers. Yeah. And we thought that would be a really funny thing to run with. How do you come back with something that everyone will pay attention to? And I think like making a joke out of the whole spectacle, um, was just like smart and exciting and, and felt natural to us and kind of like broke the ice. Alex, welcome. Thank you. How much is important to not take yourself too seriously? Um, I think in today's day and age, more important than a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the court of public opinion could be pretty harsh sometimes. Obviously, you know, social media allows us to be, you know, connected to so many people, but also so many strangers that don't really know, you know, who you are and what you're about. So... I think it's important to be able to, you know, take a joke, laugh at yourself, be self-deprecating. Um, you know, obviously, it's important to be, uh, you know, responsible and self-reflect on on yourself. But I think overall, you know, you gotta you gotta roll with the punches a little bit. You know what I mean? It's a pretty it's been a pretty crazy couple of years. So I think if you can laugh about it, I always think of that movie. Uh, um, is it Life Is Beautiful? <laughs> Yeah. You know, where he's like in World War II and he's like making a, he's like yeah. for his kids, he's trying to like, you know, uh, play up the, the, yeah, it is Life is Beautiful. Um, so, you know, I think it's important to kind of treat life like that sometimes. <laughs> and Drew, how is life without the social networks? It was really great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not having to think about posting or, you know, watching like the reaction. I mean, I'm, I'm really like, happy with the reaction we're getting to all the stuff that we posted like you know put out there on so far and i feel like we have a really great connection with our fans um which feels really good um and i'm grateful for that but the the thought of like having to you know be active in that world is, is definitely something that i didn't miss are you in la guys yeah and did you miss new york and that feeling Absolutely. I mean, I'm from New York originally and, you know, we got our career started there and it will always have a special place in our heart. I think there's like an energy in that city that is unreplica unreplicable anywhere else in the world. And, um, you know, we're excited to, it's almost springtime there. So we'll definitely be spending more time there in the coming how, week. How much does New York still influence your music, Alex? I think... Everywhere we go has an influence on us. I think, you know, we, we definitely worked on the album for, I think it was like 10 or two weeks, 10 days or two weeks uh, at some point. Um, and I feel like that's definitely reflected in some of the songs that are on the album. The energy that you get, the long nights, the kind of like uh, spontaneity of the city, you know, like wherever we go and travel to and spend time, it, it kind of influences us. So, you know, we have a song called New York City that Kanye recently sampled. Yeah. So uh, that was pretty cool too. Speaking about music, uh, which kind of music do you guys listen to the gym, for example, at the gym? Um, I feel like recently we've been listening to either techno or um, old school hip hop. Uh, speaking about Kanye, um, you are in the credits of City of God, one of the recent song of Kanye, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is Kanye your favorite artist right now? No, I was gonna say, I mean, I think he'll always be one of our favorite artists, like of all time. I think, you know, he's just incredible at the way he's able to express himself. I don't always agree with everything he does and says, but like from a artist standpoint, like there's really no one that cares about his craft and believes in himself and what he's, you know, what can he can achieve. And I think like those are such admirable qualities to have in an artist. And he's constantly pushing the envelope of what his sound is. And uh, and it's awesome to see and inspiring. And uh, did you see uh, the documentary Netflix? 
Yeah, it was amazing. How is a chain smoker studio day? Do you always work together or also in separate way? We mainly work together. Um, but I mean, like every song starts completely different. Like sometimes like Alex will be playing some chords and I'll be like, oh, those are nice. I'll be playing them in the living room and I'll hear them and want to make a song out of that. That's how iPad, our new song came about. Uh, or, you know, you'll have a line that you're singing and you're like, we need to make a song out of this line or you'll make a beat and then it'd be like, well, I'll be hanging out and, and you know, so it's always different, but like, yeah, it's, it's, I would say it's probably 90% together. And Alex, uh, what about uh, what about the live shows? Going to be a band, DJs, or a bit of both? What's yeah, the, I think be the <laughs> at this point, you never really know. Um, I mean, I think, you know, for our own shows that are Chainsmokers shows, Those are generally going to be band shows. Um, okay. We love performing as a band, and we found a way to bridge the gap between, you know, live music and the energy you get from DJing, which I think has been a challenge, but really important. Um, you know, we do a hybrid show where we DJ and our drummer yeah. plays with us. That's like very, very high energy. And then in Vegas, we usually just DJ. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we're, we love any of those options. Yeah. I think it just depends on the setting. Um, and uh, and then we just kind of make a decision from there. Yeah, I, I loved the version with the drummer. I think it's a super high energy. It's a very good formula for the future. Thank you. Yeah, we agree. Uh, Drew, your new single iPad is very emotional. It's about relationship, people, distances, mental health. Do you believe they're finally the right awareness about it? Um, about mental health? about all these concerts, about all the topics in your songs, iPad. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things in that song. That song's about just like kind of dealing with the cognitive dissonance, you know, you know, all like the lyrics, like, you know, when it's talking about how things felt and how things went with this specific relationship, it kind of talks about the cognitive dissonance that you feel between like, you know, you know that something's not good for you, but you can't like walk away and you understand why you're hooked on it. And even after it's over, like, And then, and then like looking back at like from the future and just being like, wow, like I remember how heavy that felt at the time. And right now I, it's like, we're strangers again. I don't even know you. I don't know who you hang out with. I don't know what your life is like. And like, you know, even just like two years ago or whenever, you know, like this was my world too. Um, and I don't know, I think like we always like talking about really small moments like that and kind of getting really specific in the lyrics. And, you know, I like that, you know, our songs have this these very triumphant and like euphoric type musical moments but this the lyrics are very nuanced and talk about very specific things that i hope people think of like makes people think about them if they're in that situation they can relate to it alex do yeah. you still like the definition edm duo or are you looking to go further <laughs> I, i think we're comfortable going further i mean i don't get mad when someone calls us that i mean we came okay. from dance music i think our music is always rooted in electronic music i just feel like it sounds like why can't you know like i feel like just saying electronic dance group sounds so much better than edm group you know but uh but i think uh you know we're happy with whatever at the end of the day like we just want people to enjoy our music and you know you can uh refer to us however you want as long as you're enjoying it hey Drew uh, can I see the tattoos from Alessandro our friend from Italy that you have on oh, your yeah, that's great. yeah that one it's great yes Alessandro is a big friend of M2O <laughs> yeah he's very uh, uh, very talented uh, did he make this count for you I entrusted uh, this so much uh, for you <laughs> I, he told me he told me that he'd do it for free but like I, I always feel bad and I, I I think I ended up paying him yeah I, okay. I, hate it. I just I, I don't I don't like to um, like uh, not pay for things from artists Alessandro is a big fan of the chain smoker so he was so excited about this <laughs> yeah no we had a good time we made it we made a song after he was like I just want to see like how you guys make songs and so okay. I went and made this beat that's actually pretty sick um you know gave it to him so guys uh, some news about the album the release date or the, the period of time before summer after summer when we have to expect the TCTS full album probably before summer before summer okay so thank you so much guys hope to meet you again here in Italy Milan or around the world sound festival so where you at line this summer on club or in Vegas or in Ibiza or whatever you want <laughs> Hell yeah. Sounds good, brother. So Bye. All right. Bye.
Take care. Bye.